Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be talking about um, writing a sentence, and we're going to talk about the parts that you need when you are writing a sentence. And we're going to talk about three things nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And um, when you get into second grade, you're going to be doing a lot of a lot more writing, and your sentences need to be more descriptive. Okay, so you're going to be learning um, to be more detailed in what you are writing, and you want to keep your reader um, interested in what you are writing. So that's why um, you need to. Um, understand why we use good nouns, verbs, and adjectives in our writing. So let's talk about those three things. So a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So Miss Corson, that's a person. Um, mom, dad, those are people. Um, places, a park, a grocery store, um, the mall, those are all places. And then um, things. Pencils, cups, glasses, those are all things. Okay, so people, places, and things are all types of nouns. And remember that when you are writing proper nouns, which is when you're writing someone's name or you're writing the name of a place like Disneyland, those need to be uppercase. Okay, so that first letter has to be an uppercase letter. Now let's talk about verbs. Verbs are action words, okay? So any word that shows action is a verb. So that would be um, running, walking, jumping, skipping. Those are all things that are action words, things that you do. Okay, so remember, verbs are things that you can do. And then adjectives are words that describe things, okay? So if I said... Um, the boy is tall. Tall is my adjective because that is the word I am using to describe the boy. If I said my glasses are orange, orange is my um, adjective because I'm telling you the color of my glasses. Um, if we said um, the sky is um, blue, Blue, again, is your adjective, okay? That is describing what you see when you look up in the sky. Now, I have written a sentence, and we're going to talk about um, what's what our nouns, verbs, and adjectives are in our sentences, okay? So, I'm going to just read the sentence, and then we'll um, talk about it. Jane is walking on the steep trail. Okay, that is a very good descriptive sentence. Um, I actually went back and added the word steep because before it just said Jane is walking on the trail. And I thought, well, that's kind of a dull sentence and I don't have an adjective. So I went back and added um, the word steep, which we'll talk about in just a second. Okay, so I've underlined my nouns, verbs, and adjectives. So Jane... That is a noun because that is a person. And remember, um, uppercase J for her name, but also because it's the first letter in the sentence. Is and then walking, that is your action word, okay? That's your verb um, because that is something she is doing. Jane is walking on the steep trail okay so steep is describing the kind of trail that she's walking on and steep means like a slanted um, area so that means when she's walking she's walking down um, and it's steep so that's what the word steep means and this is a very good um, descriptive word we would um, call this a sparkle word because it's not boring um, it's a really good word to use Okay, so Jane is walking down the steep trail, and trail um, is another noun. That's a thing. Okay, so we actually have all three in this sentence. We have a we have two nouns. We have a verb, action, and then we have an adjective because this is describing the trail. Okay, 
So this is an example of a really good um, descriptive sentence using nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And um, I encourage you to get on YouTube and you can find some videos um, that are describing more about nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And um, remember, they are very important when you are writing. So I hope this has helped you um, understand the importance of those three types of words. And remember your punctuation at the end of your sentence. Remember, if you are telling something, you use a period. If you are asking something, you use a question mark. And if you are excited about something, you use an exclamation point. Okay? So, have fun writing. I encourage you to really practice your writing so that you'll be ready for next year. And um, we will see you next time.